Hi, I'm Marcin Zabłocki, MLOps architect at Getting Data, and welcome back to our Getting Data YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how you can use our recently released Kedro SageMaker plugin to effortlessly scale up your machine learning pipelines written in Kedro to the AWS SageMaker. Whether you are new to Kedro or you are an experienced user, in this video tutorial, I will guide you how you can configure our plugin in new or existing Kedro project so you can leverage the power of SageMaker with just a few quick steps. So let's get started. In the MLOps community, there is this desire to design and implement your machine learning pipelines only once and then be able to easily scale them up to the cloud or to the other execution environment. At Getting Data, we believe that Kedro is the framework that will allow you to do this. Throughout multiple current projects, we were able to successfully run Kedro pipelines on AWS, on GCP, on Azure ML, but also on many on-premise uh, Kubernetes environments. And our experience led us to developing multiple open source Kedro plugins, such as uh, Kedro Vertex AI, Kedro Azure ML, and Kedro SageMaker just recently. That will be the topic of this video. And you can check them out on our GitHub and a side note. For Kedro Vertex AI plugin, you can check out the webinar that was recorded by Michal Brisch and he shows there how you can run Kedro pipelines in Vertex AI. And also on the Getting Data YouTube channel, you can find the video tutorial similar to this one, but related to running Kedro pipelines on Azure ML. And for the Kedro SageMaker plugin, just stay in this video. A few things before you start. So obviously you have some uh, prerequisites and installations that you need to do before starting this tutorial. Uh, first and foremost, you need AWS CLI to be able to log in into AWS account. Uh, you need also to have your SageMaker domain created and prepared. Please also prepare the execution role for the AWS SageMaker, the IRN of this role, because it will be needed in our plugin. You also will need S3 uh, bucket for that, because our plugin uses S3 to store all of the intermediate data inside of it. And for the deployment part, you will also need Docker and ECR to push your images somewhere. And also remember that the execution role that you will be using for Kedro SageMaker needs to have access to the S3 bucket that you will be using and also to this ECR repository because it will need to pull the images from the Docker registry. As for the local development environment, I will be using Python 3.9. Our plugin supports versions from Python 3.8 to Python 3.10, the same, I believe, as the Kedro. Throughout our experience with developing Kedro plugins, we try always to have less and less steps done uh, manually by, by our, our users. So first, I will show you how you can set this up completely for the new projects from Starter. This is the same story that uh, you will be able to then refer to in the quick start documentation. So I will just pip install Kedro SageMaker. Okay, once you install Kedro SageMaker, you will have both Kedro SageMaker plugin as well as the pure Kedro framework installed. And now you can just create new project by, for example, starting it from Spacelight Starter. Provide a name for your project. Now you have simple Kedro project. Let's initialize Kedro SageMaker plugin in it. For that, you will need Kedro SageMaker init command. In a few seconds, you will see what are the values that are required to initialize the plugin. So as I've mentioned, you will need name of the S3 bucket, the execution role ARN, and also the name of the Docker image that will be pushed into your ECR repository. Okay, I have all of those values prepared before, so I've run the Kedro init command with appropriate arguments. And now uh, you will see that uh, we recommend you to, to set some S3 lifecycle policy in your S3 bucket, because the sometimes the intermediate data is not required to be preserved in the long term. So you can just set up a lifecycle policy to clean up the temporary data, for example, after a few days. Now let's open VS Code to see what's inside the project. Okay, let's see what our plugin has created for the standard Kedro project. So first, in the configuration, we'll have the SageMaker YAML file. This file contains all of the necessary configurations for our plugin to, to be able to run your pipeline. 
uh, besides the S3 bucket and execution role that you can change later on, uh, you will also have resources. In the resources section, you will be able to specify machine types you want to use to run your Kajiro nodes. You can specify the default one as shown in the configuration to run all of the nodes on the same machine type, but you can also use Kajiro tags or Kajiro node names to specify something else. For example, if you are running some deep learning workloads, you will be, you will be able to specify machines with GPU here, or if your data processing needs more cores to execute faster, you, will, you are able to specify that too. Another section in the configuration is the pipeline names mapping. Here you can define the mapping between your Kedro pipeline names and the names that will be registered in the SageMaker pipelines environment. And last section is related to Docker. So we have full Docker image with tag here and also the working directory. And on, on part about Docker, our plugin has also created two additional files. The first one is Docker file and the second one is Docker ignore. So in the Docker file we provide, you have predefined comments that allow you to build a Docker image that is compatible with AWS SageMaker. Note that the entry point for that Docker image is Kajiro SageMaker plugin, not the standard Python one. So if you are using our plugin with some existing projects in Kajiro that already have some Docker file predefined, if you want to be able to run it in the AWS, you will need to change the entry point because SageMaker internally, at this point at least, does not allow you to override the entry point in every places we need to plug in ourselves. And the last one is Docker Ignore. This is the file that is compatible with Kajiro Docker plugin, but here uh, we also commented out the uh, exclusion of the raw data files just as a convenience. So now that you know what are the changes that our plugin did to your project, let's see how you can actually run it. So first we'll get rid of the intermediate data that is stored by space -like projects by default. So in the data catalog, we'll scroll down to, to see the intermediate data. We can discard all of that. Uh, for the regressor, which will be our model, we can actually store it in the S3. So I will change, I will change the path to S3. Our plugin also brings the file spec for S3 as a dependency. So you will have this already in place. So the final data catalog should look more or less like this one. We'll have only input data sets and the uh, model will be stored in the S3 bucket. And the last adjustment would be to modify the requirements for your project. So let's open the requirements.txt at Kedro SageMaker here. And also since we are running on the remote execution environment, you can either disable Kedro telemetry or opt into their metrics or just remove this uh, plugin completely. So let's open the terminal. Make sure that you install all of the project dependencies first. So now that the requirements are installed, let's see the Kedro SageMaker run command. It contains a few arguments that you can override at command level. So the execution role and the image are by default taken from the SageMaker YAML configuration that you saw before, but you can also override them at the command level, for example, in your CI CD pipeline. We'll also have the parameter to specify the specific Kedro pipeline that you want to use, and also a few additional arguments, such as the wait for completion that it will block the execution until the pipeline is executed in the SageMaker. It will also propagate the, the exit code of the of the SageMaker pipeline into your uh, command line. And the most interesting parameter here is auto build one, which takes care of the full automation. So as the Kedro SageMaker pipeline in AWS will be executed using Docker, the auto build command will take care of uh, rebuilding the Docker image and pushing it to ECR before running your pipeline in AWS so that you will not have to do this manually. The auto build command will speed up your development cycle. So instead of remembering about rebuilding your Docker image every time, just go with Kedro SageMaker run with minus minus auto build and we'll get all of the heavy lifting for you. So let's run this Kedro SageMaker command with auto build. In a few seconds, the plugin will prompt me whether do I whether I want to override my uh, remote image with a tag tutorial. And indeed, in the configuration, you can see that in the Docker image, 
I have this uh, Docker image specified with the tutorial tag. Uh, if it will be changed to latest tag, the prompt will not show. And also uh, the schedule SageMaker run command has a minus Y parameter to just skip all of the prompts and have everything automated. Okay, you can see that the Docker image was successfully built and pushed and the pipeline was actually started in AWS SageMaker. So let's switch to the browser and log in into SageMaker Studio. And once you open it, I can see my recently created pipeline is executing. You will see the full visualization of this pipeline. You will see all of the nodes that you have defined in your pipeline. Remember that those nodes will be executed on completely different machines so uh, all of the intermediate data will be stored by our plugin in the s3 bucket and the pipeline can be parallelized so if you have some nodes that can be executed in parallel they will most likely be executed in parallel thanks to the capabilities of the SageMaker pipelines and the uh, flexibility of scaling up your pipeline in the cloud what's also important in here from the perspective of mlops is the parameter section you'll have all of your cadre parameters stored back in SageMaker here so in this uh, key value mapping you will have parameter zero of name uh, model options test size with the value 0 0.2 and those actual values will be stored uh, in SageMaker parameters but it will be also used at runtime uh, by our plugin so if you uh, go back to the to the pipeline section here and create a new custom run here for example create execution you will be able to override those parameters and those parameters will be overridden and the default values obviously come from the cadre itself so let me just open back the visual studio code in the parameters of uh, and in the configuration folder we'll have all of them defined here and there is no limit to the the type of the parameters so you can use lists uh, numbers and floats and so on. Last note related to scaling the project. So if your nodes are really small in terms of uh, computing time they need to, to finish, the overhead of AWS SageMaker will be probably huge for you. But once your nodes are getting bigger and bigger and you process more data or you use larger machine learning models that require a lot of processing power, then the SageMaker would be the good option for you. Congratulations, you are now a pro at running your Kedro machine learning pipelines on SageMaker. With our plugin and just a few simple steps, you are able to scale up your machine learning workflows to AWS. The plugin is fully open source, so you can check out its code at gettingdata slash Kedro SageMaker on GitHub. If you encounter any bugs, drop us an issue on GitHub or feel free to reach out to us on official Kedro Slack channel as we are really active there. I hope you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Getting Data YouTube channel for more tutorials like this one in the future. Bye!